We were thinking of doing um, the full Shane collection November 1st. Looks like Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star were prepping for a palette launch showdown with James Charles. Shane and Jeffree's collab has revealed some major makeup industry secrets and they're also creating some serious competition with their palette launch. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new here, hey guys, it's Renee Ariel with Shared News. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so we can continue to keep you updated on all the drama. Okay, so in the latest episode of Shane's new docuseries, we learned that the major players in the beauty industry will literally move around their launch dates based on when each other's products are coming out. I reviewed their palette and I gave it a moment, but at the end of the day, they put out theirs first because I said, hey, mine's coming, I don't want to do the same exact thing. So we kind of are like, the big players will talk and we'll like, Jeffrey is suspicious that the Morphe team was trying to move their launch date because of another YouTuber's brand, and lo and behold, the team revealed that James Charles' anniversary palette was set to launch at a similar time. Year round. Almost. Got it, got it. I think they're panicking because they have a Jaclyn Hill launcher, another big influencer, and now they're well, a little more time for planning. See, they're stunned. See that there will likely be an anniversary of the James Charles house that we launched last November, so that, that was the reason, frankly, I asked. We haven't clarified the exact timing. Obviously, all of this was filmed months ago, and Morphe clearly prioritized the launch of the Conspiracy Palette since James's mini anniversary palette was released on October 17th instead of on the actual anniversary. In the docuseries, it's clear that Jeffrey and Morphe have no doubt that the palette is going to be huge, so huge that Jeffrey's team predicted that the collab will make around 35 million in retail the first day alone, which would mean Shane would walk away away with about 10 million, which is apparently more than he's made through his entire YouTube career. Nuts, right? One fan tweeted at Shane saying she was bummed about their decision to launch exclusively with Morphe because she wanted to buy it on Beautylish so that she could use FlexPay monthly payments, plus felt like Shane and Jeffrey could have made so much more doing that instead. But get this, Shane responded to that fan saying, don't worry, the only thing in this episode that is for sure is the release date and the amount of palettes Jeffrey had to order. So I wonder if they will actually be launching exclusively with Morphe after all. I guess we'll have to wait and see. And speaking of which, mark your calendars for their November 1st launch because something tells me Jeffrey's team was probably spot on with predicting that the palette is going to sell crazy fast. All right, you guys, that is all the news I have to share with you. Were you surprised by the behind the scenes of the beauty industry? Are you planning on purchasing their palette? Let me know down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. When you're done with that, make sure to click right over here for another video. And as always, I'm your host, Renee Ariel. You can follow me on socials at Renee Ariel, and I'll see you guys next time.